मैं वो तो लो है बेसिकली व्हाट वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट टिल द टाइम यू जॉइन वाज दैट हाउ डू यू डायग्नोस अ नॉर्मल लेबर एंड वी सेड दैट द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू शुड नो अबाउट डायग्नोसिंग नॉर्मल लेबर इज कुछ मैं चाहती हूँ ये लड़कियों को स्क्रीन साइड पे ठीक है एक मिनट चैट ऑन कर चैट में जाने में कुछ हो गया हाँ उनके सुनने के लिए so so basically uh, we have been talking this morning about diagnosis of labor and as i said before that for diagnosis of labor there has to be a period of amenorrhea the woman generally presents with pains so we discussed the type of pains that are going to be there in labor so when a woman presents to you with a pregnancy complaining of pains you have to ask her three questions the duration of pain the intensity of pain and the interval between pain ye chat box on kare main dekhna chahta hu kya kya hai satra logon ne kuch bola hua hai no voice not audible screen not showing aage chalo to chat thi main kuch no kuch bol liye okay ab aapko sunai de raha hai to please type karke bataye kya wo screen ko aur hame dekh sakte hai is pe hai main mai ab kya aaz bol and uh, then we decided that straight away going on to operative vaginal delivery is not a good idea and we should talk about simple labor first so this time we decided that we are going to talk about labor and since this morning before you guys joined and we will be we able to get the internet connection we have talked about diagnosis of labor and i will just summarize what we have talked about we said that for a diagnosis of labor the woman has to be pregnant she complains of pains and the pains uh, these she the pains we dekhi hai you have to look at the duration of contraction interval and intensity of the contraction so if a woman is complaining of pain which are coming to her which are coming at a regular interval and they are last they are lasting for 30 to 35 seconds and moderate to severe in intensity it means that the woman is uh, these contractions are probably labor pains In addition to that, we talked about the fact that women most often give a history of passage of a blood stain or a mucoid uh, vaginal discharge, and that mucoid vaginal blood stain discharge is generally the mucus plug, uh, which becomes detached when the labor starts, and uh, it is taken in some uh, by some uh, patients as a definitive sign of labor, and uh, this happens because of the fact that when the labor starts, the membranes get separated. from the a little bit of the membrane not the whole of it the membrane gets separated from its attachment into the inside of the uterus and that results in a small amount of bleeding that blood mixed with the mucus of the cervix projects as a blood stain to that picture and then the final test of a labor is the pelvic examination in which you are going to look at the dilatation and effacement of the cervix so if the cervix is 1 to 2 cm but there is no pain it is not labor if there are contractions but there is no dilatation and the contractions are coming at an irregular interval that is pre labor that is not normal labor so in order to define labor you have to know that labor is a very variable period and in most of our in labor we also include the pre labor so you have to make sure that when you say that this lady is in labor she should be having regular contractions and dilatation of the cervix with the patient 
So this is where we were. And then we had started talking a little bit about the mechanism of labor. But we wanted that next time we will do the mechanism of the mechanism. But uh, uh, what we want to do is that we were talking about the fact that when the uh, when any woman goes into labor, most of the time the baby is in a transverse position. And the hallmark of a good labor is flexion of the fetal. When the flexion happens, the head becomes into the suboccipital red metal diameter and it becomes the shortest diameter that the baby has to pass through to deliver successfully. So uh, what we are trying to do is this uh, this is Dr. Sana and she's trying to make a pelvis. And she's trying to make a pelvis. So what I'm trying to show is that when the contractions are going to start, the baby's head is going to be in the occipital transverse diameter. And when the contractions start, the head is going to come down. Now, this is going to happen to both types of fetuses, whether the head has been engaged previously or not. But with contractions, there is the head comes down and presses on the pelvic muscles, on the pelvic floor. So when the head comes down and presses on the pelvic floor, most of the time, two things happen. Number one, there is flexion of the fetal head, which had been happening a little bit when the head had been coming down. And also there is rotation of the fetal head so that the head comes to life in the anteroposterior diameter. So it's not the work, a mechanism of labor care under descent, flexion, internal rotation, is important here. Now with further contractions, the head is going to come down further into the pelvis. And when this is happening, actually when the internal rotation took place, you came by internal rotation there is a twist in the neck and the baby comes down with the twist in the neck. So when the baby delivers, the first thing that happens is up is going to have a head pelvic muscles say pelvic floors in the and it is coming onto the perineum. So when the head comes onto the perineum, it starts distending the perineum. When the head starts distending the perineum and the head keeps on distending the perineum to about two to three centimeters. That is actually called crowning. It means normally when the head is coming down, it comes down with a contraction. In between contraction, it goes up. But when the head comes down onto the perineum, starts distending the perineum and does not go back, that is crowning. So when crowning happens, it means the delivery is imminent. So that is actually the time when you should give an episode. So after you give an episode, with the subsequent contraction, the head is going to deliver by a movement of extension. extension. The head is going to deliver by a movement of extension. It comes out. And when it comes out, the twist on the shoulder does not go away. So there is immediately restitution. And the twist on the neck goes away. And then you deliver by foot giving downward and forward traction to the shoulder. This is a little bit when you are delivering the head and the shoulder, you have to be aware that that is the time, the delivery of the shoulder, especially when your uh, episiotomy is going to extend. So that is the time when you have to ask your assistant or if you're doing it on your own to support the perineum adequately. Because if you do not support the perineum adequately, then there will be difficulties. <laughs> Coming to line the anteroposterior diameter, further descent of the baby, crowning, 
delivering of the head by a movement of extension and restitution takes place and then the shoulders are delivered. And as I said before, that we have to be careful that we take care that the episiotomy does not become extended. I'm so persistent. Okay, so episiotomy can be done in two ways. One is that you can do an episiotomy in the midline. The other is that you do medial lateral episiotomy. So normally we are not doing midline episiotomies because the midline episiotomy has got the uh, probability or because yes, but no, the pelly to the yes, pelly check it. Very good. It was also a problem. Okay, so uh, so what you have to do is that if you go into the midline, then there's a probability that you are going to damage the spinal. That is why normally midline episiotomy is not preferred, although the midline episiotomy is better. But we prefer a medial lateral episiotomy, which is almost at a 45 degree angle. But as I told you the other day, that if you are doing a late episiotomy and the pity head is stretching a lot, then you have to keep it a little bit in the transverse direction. Otherwise, you are going to end up creating another midline episiotomy. Well, support should be at this point or at this angle? Okay. So support has to be in between the midline and the episiotomy. Okay, you are worried about extension with into the midline. So that is the place you want to support. So that's okay if it extends further. You're not worried about that. So there are two places where extension of episiotomy, where where tears can happen. One is this place between the episiotomy and the midline, and the other is the bush. So if you have seen people who are uh, trained in UK, they are mo mostly basically midwives are doing those deliveries. So they are, don't have a system. So what they do is that they put a hand over like this over the fetal head. Where the fetus ke upar is tarah se, jaise yung fetus aara hota hai. So wo kya karti hai? Ki wo usko yahan se aise kar dete hai. So basically ek haath se yahan karti hai, ek haath se yahan karti hai. And then they allow the delivery to happen. So what happens in that is, that um, uh, that the, the head number one remains flexed because if the head to any extension, then the head to flexion only is needed. So the head flexed will happen, then the fusion will be complete. So basically, what they are doing is they are keeping the head flexed. Okay, let's look at the checklist for uh, assisting normal birth. So we have said that informed consent should be taken. What is the big deal? People don't understand. That's why people are so emotional. So informed consent should be taken after explaining the indication. Check the necessary equipment. So what did we have? The last problem we had on our delivery was that when we were to use the toilet, we had to check the toilet. So we every day, obviously, we have to make checklists for it. But if it is a running late room, all the equipment and things have to be checked every morning. And when you are preparing the labor for the delivery, so you have to ensure that you have to ensure that the woman is positively. Reassured and supported, or just in the last minute, it's a very interesting concept. That concept is that of a dollar. Dollar is like a support person, and that support person actually stays with the woman during labor, has got a little bit of knowledge and training. So they prove to be very um, reassuring and very effective for providing that emotional support that the woman needs. So it's the end, it's the back, it's the back of the family. It's the family, 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 it's the family. So then you have to make sure that your patient is free in COVID. The mother, you have to make sure that protective barriers are in place. And what are the things that you need to make sure? The one of the two, I think, the most important things for vaginal delivery are number one that the bladder should be empty. So many times you will feel that the labor is not progressing. Yes, they are available in the book. You have to be checked this way, Saba. This is the book's checklist, don't worry. So you have to ensure that the bladder is empty and the second thing that you have to ensure is that there is still bleeding. So if the woman has had an epidural, you will think about the top of those. If the woman has not had an epidural, then you will think about the local and Now the important thing regarding pushing is two or three things. One is the position should be comfortable. Two is there should be somebody who knows how to push the patient to push. Most of the time, if there is no epidural, there is an urge to push. And even with an epidural, they know when there is pressure. But you are going to guide the patient as to how to push, because sometimes they don't actually know how to push properly. Now, the other prerequisites of vaginal delivery are that the cervix is fully dilated, the baby is in occipital anterior or direct occipital for clear presentation, the 
when you have seen the exhibit, please guide the head upward as the posterior shoulder will fall over the medium and lift the baby's head and clearly to the with the posterior shoulder. Then support the rest of the body with one hand. Now, what do you do? The baby is delivered. But the baby is delivered. The baby is delivered. The baby is delivered. The baby is delivered. Nurse will not give it. Why not give it? Because we don't want, we really have got a couple of things to do. The first thing to do is, is to clean the baby. That is the first thing, dry the baby. Because what is the child? Hypothermia. Hypothermia is very good. It can be a child. It can be a child. It can be a child. So the first thing is that you dry the baby. Baby can dry the baby. You have to give it to the maternal abdomen. And in a normal situation, if the baby is crying, the baby is warm from the mother. और बेबी को डायरेक्ट सकल कर देना चाहिए मदर को अभी तक हमने कॉर्ड नहीं काटा तो कॉर्ड आप तब काटेंगे या तो एटलीस्ट वन मिनट वेट करते हैं क्योंकि उसमें बड़ा लंबा लग रहा होता है कई बार तो फिर सेंटा खुद ही आ जाता है तो हम तो काट दो कॉर्ड बट इफ इट डजन्ट कम देन यू वेट फॉर वन मिनट एंड Is 
for the active management of third stage and the other is for the passive management of third stage. We recommend active management of third stage and the reason for that recommendation is that the active management of third stage reduces the probability of postpartum depression, which is a killer in Pakistan. So, passive management ka matlab hai ki aapne koi drug nahi di. You wait for the placenta to separate. You wait for the signs of placental separation to appear. What are the signs of placental separation? Rising of the uterus in the maternal abdomen, gush of blood, lengthening of the cord. These are the signs of placental separation. Rising of the uterus in the abdomen. Why is that? When the placenta goes down, it 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 goes down. So it rises up in the abdomen, lengthening of the cord and the gush of blood. These are the signs of placental separation. So if you are doing the passive management, after oxytocin is completely, you wait for the signs, and when these signs happen, you deliver the placenta and then give the oxytocin. Ask that he recommended oxytocin. Dubara se dust will be told again. They can do the standard way. Five minutes are enough. Ab hum aare us pe jo hum se. What we are doing in our labor room and what we are recommending is. Active management of third stage of labor, this can be done intravenous or intramuscular. Oxytocin is something, or you can give fibroblastol also. And in that, you give the the injection, and then you proceed to deliver the placenta. And you do not necessarily have to wait for signs of separation. You can proceed to separation for a while, of course. But because we are one to three minutes wait, we do not need to wait for signs of separation. Even with active management of third stage. We feed the baby, we do our stuff, and then we proceed to deliver. Tab tak placenta separate ho jata hai. Now the method of delivery of the placenta. Placenta has placenta ko push karke nahi deliver karna. So the placenta has to be delivered as if I am trying to placenta. Okay. Ah, okay. So the placenta is delivered by the continuous contraction of the brand embryo maneuver. Brand embryo maneuver ye hota hai ki aap apna ye hand pura kare and you lift up the uterus. Thereby lifting the fundus of the uterus so that the uterus and the vagina are aligned in one canal. Then you get hold of the cord and you give continuous cord traction. उससे जो placenta है वो नीचे आना शुरू हो जाएगा और उससे वो नीचे बन हो जाएगा. And when the placenta starts showing again, as you did with the baby, आप उसको प्रसव कर सकते हैं. And make sure that all the membranes are delivered along with the placenta. This is called brand and true method of delivery of the placenta. और वो जो पुश करने वाला पुराना मेथड होता था उसको कहते हैं ब्रांड एंड मेथड बिल्कुल ठीक है ब्रांड से लेके बी आर ब्रांड बी आर एंड बी आर एंड बी सी बी सी होता है बी सी तो इट्स कॉल्ड ब्रांड एंड मेथड ऑफ डिलीवरी ऑफ द प्रोसेसर एंड द अदर मेथड व्हिच वाज दिस वन जो कि पहले यूज होता था उसमें इनवर्जन ऑफ द यूट्रस हो जाती है वो मेथड जो होता है वो क्या कहता है फ्रेडीज फ्रेडीज मेथड जो ट्रेडिंग मेथड होता है उसमें तुम क्या पुश कर रहे हो ऊपर से तो कई दफा फंडस ऑफ द यूट्रस आल्सो गेट्स पुश कर रहे हो तो दैट्स इट इनवर्जन ऑफ द यूट्रस आप मसाज कर लो लेकिन आपको उसको पुश और जब क्या पुश इट तो वो सो दे गया ना सिर्फ थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट है वी कैन डिस्कस दैट सेपरेटली इन क्लोज अप आपके सामने से मैं बोल रहा हूं बट ट्रेडिशनली ब्रांड एंड मेथड दूर आपने ठीक कर दिया है सो द ब्रांड एंड मेथड इज द मेथड व्हिच इज So that is the method for delivery of the hypoplastic placenta. What Freddy is Freddy C R E D Freddy method is, which is the older method. Okay, Freddy method. I hope yes, that's right. Okay, so these two methods are the placental delivery. We are having courage to do the brand active method, and that is what we want. So we have done this for placenta delivery. What is the next step? The next step as a routine should be to look to have before even you start uh, stitching the epidermis, just have a general look around the vaginal walls and in the paraurethral area. And the reason for that, which look is to see the epidermis or other thing. Once you have seen that, then you repair the epidermis. When you are repairing the epidermis, the first and the foremost important thing to be seen is that apex where we are. Sometimes there is bleeding at that point in time, and it is difficult to see the apex. And it takes a bit of time, but I think it is very important to identify the apex. If you are in the habit of identifying the apex and make it as a part of your routine, after that, it is important. 
इफेक्ट्स की वजह से बीपी के साथ आपको पेशेंट आते हैं पेयर भी करने पर सो रिपेयर द एपिसोडिटी देन वंस अगेन हैव अ लुक एट द विजुअल वॉल हैव अ लुक एट द सर्विक्स और सर्विक्स को देखना क्यों जरूरी है सर्विक्स को देखना इसलिए जरूरी है कि हम में से वो लोग जो रूटीन को सर्विक्स में नहीं देखते व्हेन दे सी द सर्विक्स फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दे आर confused because they think that they have a lot of laceration actually like right? this and some of them actually end up repairing those laceration so they are not laceration the cervix is patulous the cervix is patulous 9 cm ka head tha jiske against the cervix the cervix had a face and it had stretched and now it has come back to normal so it's hanging you yes. that is why sometimes you feel that there is a laceration which there is not so yaha khatam karne se pehle i would just like to say couple of more things how do you examine the cervix if you really have to examine the cervix uske liye three point holding aap ke paas hone chahiye so you apply the first point holding at 12 o'clock position the other at around 3 o'clock ya kare kare jo aap around 2 se 3 meter mein and then you apply the third one so jab aap third apply to 6 o'clock mein kare kare sir so you keep on changing the position of the first point holding position और फिर उन दोनों के बीच में एग्जामिन करो फिर आगे लेके जाओ फिर दोनों के बीच में करो द मिनिमम दैट यू नीड इज टू बट आइडियली थ्री पॉइंट होने के साथ बड़ा अच्छा एग्जामिनेशन होता है एंड यू गो सिस्टमेटिकली फ्रॉम वन साइड ऑफ द सर्विस बैक टू द 12 ओक्लॉक पोजीशन और जब आप उसको प्रॉपर्ली स्ट्रेच करके देखोगे तो आपको पता चलेगा दिस इज नॉट केयर ठीक है सो ये कर लिया आपने एग्जामिनेशन कर लिया एपिसोडिटी हो गई नाउ यू हैव टू लुक फॉर कॉजेस एंड इफ यू डन एनी पैटर्न तो मैंने जो डर के मारे गॉज रखना ही बात करती है क्योंकि गॉज कई दफा भूल जाता है एंड द विजन इज सो डीप एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम दैट समटाइम्स इवन इन एग्जामिनेशन यू आर अनएबल टू लुक फॉर अ गॉज बट मेक श्योर इफ यू हैव पुट अ गॉज और अ पैक आइडियल ये है कि जो पैक रखो उसके पीछे कोई थ्रेड होना चाहिए दैट यू वांट टू गेट इट देयर बट देयर शुड बी अ गॉज ओके सो रिमूव द पैक एंड बिफोर डूइंग दैट आई वुड रिकमेंड uh you that you try using a vaginal pressure for anesthesia so you are putting the pressure <laughs> general rectal pressure for anesthesia so agar aap koi anesthetic pressure use karte the so you are taking care of the uh you are taking care of the uh, of the uh, of the pain afterwards so ab hum aage aapke questions ke upar because you have got two minutes to go angle epic medial lateral epic dot is given is basically ये हाँ मुझे पता है कि कंफ्यूजन जैसा कि मैंने कहा था कि द स्ट्रेच हो तो 60 डिग्रीज लेकिन अगर आप वैसे देखो तो 45 डिग्रीज पे आपके बन जाता है आई थिंक पुरुषों ने हैंडल द आंसर वेरी वेल एंड आई एग्री विद दैट आई आई एग्री आई एग्री पुरुषों ने यू आर सेइंग राइट सो एनी क्वेश्चंस सॉरी तो so, so वो जो है वो ट्रेडिशनल फीचर ही है लेकिन अगर आपके हमारे पेशेंट्स को अल्ट्रासाउंड अगर आपका डायग्नोस नहीं है तो फिर एक्टिव मैनेजमेंट ऑफ सर्जरी जब लेबर भी नहीं करनी चाहिए अनलेस जो देर इज ओनली वन थिंग ये रखा इसलिए क्योंकि ट्रेडिशनल जैसे रूरल एरिया में अगर कहीं और डिलीवरी हो रही है तो सब टाइम दे डोंट हैव अ अल्ट्रा और कोई क्वेश्चन एनीबॉडी ओके तो कौन सी टाइप है मैं विश कोई डाल आई बी जी क्या है भाई? What is आई बी जी? Instrumental vaginal delivery. Guideline of R C O G में ये पूछा गया है कि which of guidelines है? So I don't do rectal examination as a part of normal delivery, but uh, if there is uh, extension of the episiotomy or to the rectum or uh, the sphincter is damaged, then you must do rectal. के बारे में क्या पूछते हैं आखिरी मिनट डॉक्टर राशिद आ गए सर क्लास में ओके सो सबीहा सेंटर सुनाओ कैन बी गिवन आई एम और आई विल गो एनी स्पेसिफिक 
So any specific method for premium support, I said that there are two methods. One method is that with the left hand, you are putting the hand on the head of the baby. Um, if I can demonstrate it to you again, the baby is coming. When the baby is coming, you are putting your hand on the head of the So you are basically you are basically put, using one hand to flex the premium and protect the push, uh, the the urethra and the surrounding area, and the other hand you are using to protect against the uh, against the uh, providing the premium support to prevent against extension. एक तरीका ये, दूसरा तरीका ये है कि खाली premium को आप support करें in the area between your epigastric and the midline. उसके बीच का जो area है, उस area में support provide करें so that the epigastric does not extend to that particular area. एक दफा रेस्टिट्यूशन बता दें जरा इसपे डमी पे डमी पे बताना मुश्किल था क्योंकि ये डमी बोल हो सो बट मैं आपको बता देती हूँ मैंने ये आपको बताया था कि जब इंटरनल रोटेशन होती है तो देर इज दिस द बॉडी व्हेन द हेड इज रोटेटिंग टू कम टू द एंटीरियर पोजीशन द बॉडी इज नॉट स्पेसिंग सो अगर तुम ये देखो तो ये हेड था पहले ट्रांसफर्स डायरेक्शन में जब पहले फ्लोर पे हेड आया तो हेड रोटेट कर गया इन टू दिस पोजीशन नाउ बॉडी वेंट गेट सो ट्विस्ट आ गया सो व्हेन द हेड डिलीवर्स अब हेड डिलीवर होता है बाय मूवमेंट ऑफ एक्सटेंशन सो जब हेड मूवमेंट ऑफ एक्सटेंशन के साथ डिलीवर होता है तो देयर इज अ ट्विस्ट ऑन द नेक ऑफ द बेबी वो ट्विस्ट जो है जब आप उसको रिलीज कर दें तो दोबारा रिलीज हो जाता है और अपनी पोजीशन में दोबारा आ जाता है देन दिस इज कॉल्ड रेस्टिट्यूशन यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग फॉर एक्चुअली एंड देन यू ब्रिंग द शोल्डर डाउन इनटू द पेल्विस Deliver the shoulder, and when the posterior shoulder becomes visible, then you take it immediately. Um, negative blood flow, early cord clamping or delayed cord clamping, one to three minutes. Jaya uska negative hai, check positive. Does not matter. What else? If you have to send any other cord clamping, just just. Ah, look at it, just make sure. Please tell when the head is AP diameter, shoulder will be transverse or oblique. At what place? The head is in the AP diameter. Shoulder will be transverse or oblique. Oblique भी हो सकता है. Normally oblique होता है. Normally oblique होता है. ठीक है. And what place in the pelvis? It depends on what you are showing. So if the head is engaged, then the the shoulder cannot be on on the pelvic rib. ठीक है. So shoulder तो उसके पीछे ही होगा ना. Shoulder pelvic rib पे तो नहीं हो सकता. अगर shoulder pelvic rib पे है तो फिर head की rotation नहीं होगी. Next time I'm going to bring the proper dummy just to cover our uh, rotation. The class of ten that I mentioned. Okay, if there are no more questions, then I think we can say goodbye. Or, आज के लिए इतना ही है. Next time तो हम बता देंगे. Milking नहीं करनी, please. No milking of the parts of you. Chut sakti hai. Chut sakti hai. वजह बताओ कुछ. मेरा सवाल ये है कि इतना milking करना. Every day's base. देखो. बात ये जो आप वन वन टू थ्री के नेक्स्ट लिए डिले कर रहे हो दैट इज डूइंग द सेम थिंग एस मिल्किंग बट मिल्किंग इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड मिल्किंग इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड डिले इज रिकमेंडेड जो रिकमेंडेड है वो करो इस रोल ऑफ फिजर प्रोसेस फॉर गेस यू कैन यूज इट सो जो मिडविफ्री क्लासेस होती हैं उसमें वो कहते हैं कि अगर आपके पास ऑप्शन जो उसमें अवेलेबल नहीं है तो यू कैन यूज माइक्रो प्रोसेस यू कैन गिव इट समथिंग यू वेलकम मेरा So okay, we are done. Thank you very much. Next time, come topic. Koshish karenge. Aapko pehle bata de. Sabha, thank you. Okay, everybody. See you again.